Okay, we're going to look and see how this roots of polynomials can be extended to roots of quartic equations. Uh, so a quartic equation is just an equation which has 4 as the highest power. So ax to the power 4, bx cubed, cx squared plus dx plus e equals 0 is a quartic equation. Uh, right, there's a bit of information here. We don't really need to know that, but this is where it comes from. But basically it's the same thing, and I've just uh, summed this up here. That the sum of the roots, so that's alpha, beta, gamma, and the next root would be delta, is minus b over a, the sum of the pairs. So alpha, beta, alpha, gamma, alpha, delta, beta, gamma, beta, delta, um, uh, uh, sorry, gamma, delta, is equal to c over a. So that's the sum of the pairs. So all the possible pair combinations you have added up gives you, uh, it's going to be c over a. The sum of the triples, so all the possible triple combinations, is going to be minus d over a. And then the product, so alpha, beta, gamma, delta, is e over a. So there's our things. Very useful wee notation. Sigma alpha, then, that means the sum of all the individual ones is equal to minus b a. Uh, sigma alpha, beta, that's the sum of the pairs, is equal to c over a. And the sum of the triples, then, is equal to minus d over a. So it saves you a bit of time writing it out. And you do it this way. This example says the equation x to the 4 plus 2x cubed plus px squared plus qx minus 6 equals 0 has roots alpha, beta, gamma, delta. Given that alpha, sorry, gamma is equal to minus 2 plus 4i and also that delta is equal to, and what this means, this is alpha with the wee asterisk up in there. This means a conjugate of alpha. So, sorry, a conjugate of gamma. Uh, so, your gamma was minus 2 plus 4i, so the conjugate of that would be minus 2 minus, so that bit changes to minus 4i. So that means conjugate of gamma is equal to minus 2 minus 4i, which means delta is also equal to minus 2 minus 4i. It says in this, show that alpha beta minus 2 is equal to 0. So we're going to do this using the sum of the roots. So the sum of the roots is equal to minus b over a. So we're just going to put in what we now know. So we know that uh, alpha plus beta plus my gamma, what was my gamma? It was minus 2 plus 4i uh, plus my delta, which is minus 2 minus 4i, is equal to minus b over a. So minus b over a is going to be minus 2 over 1, so that's just going to be minus 2. Okay, tidy that mess up. You're going to have alpha plus beta. Add the real parts, you're going to have minus 2, minus 2, so that's going to be, I'll get rid of that, that's going to be minus 4. And then plus 4i, minus 4i is going to be 0, so it's equal to minus 2. Therefore, that takes you to alpha plus beta minus 2 is equal to 0 as required. <clears throat> okay, we're going to use the, the products bit to sort out the next bit. Um, so if we put in the products... Alpha, beta, we don't know, that's what we're trying to find, really. And my gamma was equal to minus 2 plus 4i. My delta was minus 2 minus 4i. And e is gonna, was going to be equal to minus 60. a was 1, so minus 60 over 1 is just minus 60. That's what you've got. Okay, a bit of working out to do here. We'll sort this out. Uh, notice that this is a difference of two squares. So the minus, we've this bit here, sorry, I'm talking about minus 2 plus 4i upon minus 2 minus 4i. So minus 2 squared. Uh, I'll just write it out the long way. That's just been minus 2 squared. And then minus 4i squared is equal to uh, minus 60. So I'll just do that. What did I have? Sorry, minus 4i squared, that would be equal to 16, and i squared would be minus 1, so that really is minus 16 when you do minus 4i. So if you sort this out, you've got alpha, beta, and then that's going to be minus 2 minus minus 16, that's going to, sorry, minus, it's going to be 4 minus uh, minus 16, which is going to be 20, uh, is equal to minus 60, and then that's going to give you Alpha beta is equal to minus 60 divided by 20, which means alpha beta is equal to minus 3. And then that, that becomes just 
alpha alpha beta plus three equals zero as required. So we've done this bit and we've done this bit here. Next part of the question says, hence find all the roots of the quartic equation and find the values of P and Q. So we need to find basically we've got our uh, gamma and our delta. We know what they are. Uh, we need to find our alpha and our beta. So that's what we need to find first of all. I've also just written down this equation. And I'll just write, I've got those there. I'm just also going to write down we had alpha plus beta. And the easiest way to write it is equal to 2. I call that equation 1. And we also had alpha beta is equal to minus 3. And that's my equation 2. Okay, we're going to go ahead and solve these two equations. Once you solve these equations, then you can go on and do the rest of the question. So I'm going to solve this. First of all, I'm going to say that beta is equal to 2 minus alpha. And then I'm going to sub. So that was my equation 1 rearranged. And I'm going to sub that into equation 2 again. So I'm going to have alpha upon 2 minus alpha is equal to minus 3. Just multiply out, see what we get. You're going to have 2 alpha minus alpha squared is equal to minus 3. Bring it all to one side to the equal 0. Alpha squared minus 2 alpha minus 3. And that factorizes nicely to give you uh, alpha minus 3 upon alpha plus 1, which means alpha is equal to 3 or alpha is equal to minus 1. Okay, a wee word then would be helpful. So you will just say when, uh, when alpha equals 3, and I've forgotten what my equation was for my beta. When alpha equals 3, beta is just going to be equal to 2 minus 3. So beta is equal to minus 1. Or over here, we'll just say when alpha is equal to minus 1, beta is equal to 2 minus minus 1. So let's put my bracket in strictly. should have my bracket. 2 minus minus 1 is 2 plus 1, which is 3. Okay, let's look at this. I've got my two roots are 3 and minus 3, sorry, 3 and minus 1, or minus 1 and 3. That's the same thing. Uh, that's all it is. So we're just going to say, uh, therefore, so the answer for this bit, we'll say alpha is equal to, omit. that would be equal to the smaller one, minus 1. Beta is equal to 3. And then we had our uh, gamma. And um, I've forgotten what my gamma was. My gamma was up here. It was minus 2 plus 4i. So minus 2 plus 4i, and my beta, not my beta at all, my delta, I should say, was equal to the conjugate of the gamma, so it was minus 2 minus 4i. Okay, we've now done the first bit of this. We're now going to go back. What it said to us to do is find the roots of the quartic. We've done that and find the values of p and q. So a wee bit of work to do to get the values of b and p and q. So we'll go on from that over here. Okay, so we've written down important bits. We have got up here, we've got what the uh, quartic equation is, and we've got the four roots. So we're going to use the four roots. We need to find P and Q. So first of all, we know the sum of the roots. And I'm going to use the abbreviation for this. So sigma alpha, so that means the sum of the roots is equal to uh, minus B over is going to be equal to minus B over A. That's not going to help us at all, unfortunately, in this one, because we uh, we know what our minus b is and what our a is, so that's not going to help. We'll get rid of that one. We know the sum of the pairs, so sum of alpha sigma alpha beta is equal to c over a. So we'll use that one, use that bit of information. So that means uh, minus 1 times my 3, that's alpha beta, plus minus 1 times minus 2 plus 4i plus minus 1 times the minus 2 minus 4i. What else we've got? That's all our alpha ones done and our beta one. So this is going to be 3 times the minus 2 plus 4i plus 3 times minus 2 minus 4i and one more which is going to be our uh, gamma delta. So that's going to be minus 2 plus 4i times minus 2 
minus 4i, and that equals c over a. So c is p, a is 1, so that's just going to be equal to p. So we just work our way through that and see what we get. So it's a bit of a mess. We tidy it all up. We're going to get minus 3. And then that's going to be plus 2 minus 4i. And that's going to be plus 2 plus 4i. And that's going to be minus 6 plus 12i. And then that's going to be minus 6 plus, oh, sorry, that should be a minus 12i. Minus 12i. And then we're on to our last bit. This is our uh, minus 2i, minus 2 plus 4i upon minus 2 minus 4i, which would give you, I'll put that in a bracket, that's going to give you plus 4. And then it's going to be minus 16 times minus 1, so it's going to be plus 16 is equal to p. Okay, this is a bit of a mess. We're going to tidy this up and see what we get. Okay, so we'll notice what happens here is your i's all disappear. Minus 4i plus 4i. So minus 4i plus 4i will disappear. Cancel each other out. Minus 12, 12i minus another 12i. I'll cancel out. What you'll end up with just is p equals 9. So you have found the p. Just on to find the q then. So we're going to use the sum of the triples. So sum of alpha, beta, gamma. Uh, and it's going to be equal to. Uh, so it was c over a for the last one. So it's going to be minus d over a for this one. So we're going to have to work out all these triples. And then they're going to be equal to, I think they're going to be equal to minus q over 1. So we'll see what these triples are first. So the first one. Uh, this is going to be my alpha, we'll just do alpha, beta, gamma, uh, as I had said there. So alpha, beta, gamma, so minus 1, minus 1, times 3, times minus 2, plus 4i. We'll do alpha, beta, delta, minus 1, times, whoop, minus 1, times 3, times minus 2, uh, minus 4i. And then we'll do, this is going to be, Alpha, which is minus 1, times, and then the other 2, so alpha, then gamma, delta. So it's going to be minus 2 plus 4i times minus 2 minus 4i. So that's all of your alpha ones done. Now we're on to our beta ones. And remember, you've already done beta times the alpha times uh, gamma, and beta times alpha times beta times delta. So you're just left with doing to do uh, beta times gamma times the delta, so beta times minus 2 plus 4i times minus 2 minus 4i. And I think that's us done. I will just check that. Yep, that's right. So then we just go on and we'll say that's going to be equal to our minus d over a. And so that's going to be minus q. Okay, right. A good bit of work to do to get going from this, I'm afraid. Uh, so we'll just work our way through this. So a lot of multiplying out and then tidying up. So if we work this out, first of all, we've got the first one, the triple bracket to expand. Minus 1 times 3 is minus 3. Minus 3 times minus 2 is 6. And then minus 3 times 4i is minus 12i. So that's the first triple bracket expanded. Next one, again, is going to be minus 3 times the uh, minus 3 times minus 2, which is going to be plus 6. And then minus 3 times a minus 4i is going to be plus 12i. And the next one is going to be minus times, and then we do that bracket out, you're going to get 4 minus 16 times i squared, which is going to be plus 16. And then Next one is going to be 3 times, and it's the same bracket multiplied out again. So again, we'll just write it as 4 plus 16 again, and that's equal to minus q. Okay, that wasn't just as painful as we thought it might be. You have 6 plus uh, the 6 plus 6 plus the 6. The 12i and the 12i cancel out here. And then you've got minus 20 plus 3 times 20. 3 times the 20 is going to be 60. Minus 20 is going to be 40. And then plus another tw uh, 12 is going to be minus q equals 52. So q equals minus 52. Okay, let's read the question, make sure we've done it correctly. Let's make sure we've done everything I should say. 
uh, find the roots of the quartic equation and find the values of p and q. And we've got your p, where was p? p was equal to 9, q was equal to 52, so that's us done. Okay, folks, we're now ready to do exercise for C, questions 1, 5, and 11.